Are you okay? We couldn't reach you for so long. Yang Yang was freaking out. Someone must have teleported us away from the port city of Guizhou when things went south. You know, in the blink of an eye, we were back in Jinzhou. Hey, is that the sea behind you? Calm's dead? Don't worry, it happens a lot around here. The Black Shores sits atop a massive tacitite, wreaking havoc on standard communications. Once you reach the greenhouse, you can pass them in near a beacon. Only our beacons can cut through the Tacitite's interference. <laughs> well, in a sense, yes. They're directly linked to the Tethys system. Their voice frequencies are encoded into languages we can understand. If you think about it, they could be considered a unique living race of their own. As for the Tethys system, imagine it as a supercomputer. The Black Shores relies on its calculations to observe, forewarn, and solve anything lament-related. Anyway, let me introduce you to Koo Money. They manage to cash flow and keep tabs on robot terminals across the region. They're the shrewd profiteer of the Black Shores. <laughs> Easy there. Let's get back to business. The recent quake stirred up Tacitite's interference. How's your underground connection holding? That's comforting. Hey, you can give the abnormal frequency to Koo Money. They'll handle the upload. <laughs> How's the upload? Already sent the data back to Tethys? <laughs> the Tethys system has been shaky lately. You've noticed, right? What's worse? Along with the data, we've received some terrible news. The bloom bearers we sent to the port city of Guizhou. We lost them all. Since you're linked to the Tethys' databank, can you check if there's a bloom bearer named Hoda registered? She might have something to do with the deaths of our people. Well, it's a big world after all. Since we already know someone who could resonate with a sentinel, you never know. that much before. Kumani is right. Just in case, the Tethys system is very likely to send out a warning to Jinzhou about an imminent lament in the port city of Guizhou. As for Hoda, if she's a bloom bearer, there should be a record of her in the system. And if such a resonator existed, the Black Shores would definitely know. Hold on. Hmm. There's another possibility. Yeah, that's one possibility. Not to worry. If the machine route doesn't work, 
There's another way. Let's go to the greenhouse. Most of us like to gather there. And Monica, our chief administrator, is stationed there as well. Hey, what's in your mind? You ever play those RPGs? Each character's got a backstory, right? Well, these robots are no different. The Tethys system gives them all their own personalities. Take Kumani, for instance. Tethys programmed it to be a crafty dealmaker. Who knows? Maybe one day, you'll come across a robot you really click with. Once you're ready, we'll head over to the greenhouse and meet Monica. Alto, there you are. And this is... The rover just arrived. She's the one we invited earlier. The mysterious resonator who appeared in Jinjo. So you're the resonator who confronted the Thranodian. I honestly didn't expect to meet you in person. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit carried away. My name's Monica, the chief administrator, or... <clears throat> housekeeper around here. I was supposed to show you around, but things are quite hectic right now. My apologies. You heard about what happened in Guishu, right? Yes. We received word from Jinjo City Hall about their actions. We also alerted them to the Tethys system's likely warning of a potential lament in the port city of Guishu. The data you brought back has been uploaded to the system, but as you know, Tethys has been unstable. So the problem isn't solved. Exactly. We need Tethys functioning normally to fully resolve this. But retrieving the abnormal frequency was a significant step forward. Those bloom bearers didn't sacrifice themselves in vain. It could have been much worse if they hadn't risked their lives to transmit the coordinates back to Nia. And thank you for risking your life to retrieve the data. What's the current situation? Efforts to stabilize the Tetha system are underway. Good to hear. By the way, since you deal with all our contacts, does the name Hoda ring any bells? She claims to be a bloom bearer. Hoda? No, I don't recall any bloom bearer by that name. Why do you ask? So this is related to that abnormal frequency. Maybe. She's a traitor. That theory doesn't hold water. Not only are traitors incredibly rare in our history, they're all documented. And there is no record of her in the system. Was she trying to mislead us? Hmm, that's strange. Because we just added you to the recruitment list recently. Yeah, she's quite the mystery. Monica, can you try to gather more info about this Hoda for us? Of course. If it concerns the security of the Black Shores, it's my job. <sighs> if this person was truly residing in that abnormal frequency, she could be responsible for those deaths. Damn it! We've been tricked! We just put it back into Tethys! Careful!
Well, looks like she's made herself at home in Tethys. I'll check with Ku Money to assess the current situation underground. We need to do everything in our power to protect Tethys from any harm. Could you please accompany Alto to the greenhouse? We need you to find the Kuwata robots. Also, ensure the modulation device in the greenhouse remains secure. <sighs> I'm sorry. You were meant to have a pleasant time here. When the dust clears, I'd like to formally welcome you to join us. I'm frustrated with myself. Got too carried away by your presence to think straight. I thought we could easily resolve that issue by uploading the data you brought back to the system. Never considered the possibility of an infiltrator lurking inside. We need to figure out who's behind all this. Yeah. The Black Shore's every move hinges on its decisions, big or small. Without Tethys, it'd just be a barren tacitite. And if you're after the truth, you'll need its assistance too. Actually, Ku Money, Monica, and I don't have top clearance to the Tethys system. Our access is limited. With higher clearance, you could uncover the answers you're looking for. All right, let's pick up the pace. We need to find the Koo Water siblings and check on the modulation device. This is your chance to ask anything you want. If anyone has answers, it's Tethys. I can't guarantee you'll get everything you're after, but it's worth a shot, right? The greenhouse is just ahead. Let's move.
play the piano? I guess the Black Shores have earned their mysterious reputation. They even have a self-playing piano. to play. I don't have a musical bone in me, but that sounded good. <laughs> In every sound and frequency lies an emotion, just like this, expressing what's on your mind through music. It's something even you can do. You'll give it a try, won't you? Hey, wake up! What was that? Uh, what? It's just been the two of us here this whole time. Whoa! Another earthquake! Uh, what's happening? Run! We need to get out of here! Hey, Rover. Can you hear me? There is a spike in the anchor frequency of the Tethys algorithmic array. It caused other abnormal frequencies to escape. Analysts are still investigating. We're already en route for repairs. Right now, the data stored in Tethys is materializing by drawing energy from the massive tacitite beneath the Black Shores. It's making digital constructs out of real-life entities. Kumari already logged your info in Tethys. Now you can command the robots across the Black Shores to fix and upload the corrupted data. That'll restore the anchors. We're heading to Veildrop's anchor. Rover, can you help at the Haven of Sprouts? It's our comms hub. I'll be helping with the repair at Veiled Rock. Such a pity I won't be there to witness Jinjo's savior in action once more. No, I'll miss seeing my friend in action again. 
Oh, maybe that's why you saw the other you in that vision. Ugh, I'm so sleepy. Converge. This is the beginning of a new story. Its geographical coordinates remain unchanged. Everything is as it was. Even time leaves no traces on the Tacitite. This world has not yet begun. But we have already seen its end. They too will be as fragile and lost as we once were. But this time, we will show them what we believe in. What was that? An illusion caused by those abnormal frequencies? But it felt all too real. Hello? Can you hear me? Ah, Rover. Thanks to you, the abnormal frequency index in the Haven of Sprouts has dropped. The island ahead is the Eye of Asteria, the highest point in the Black Shores. It monitors the etheric sea across all of Solaris. Since the Tacitide there is more powerful, the interference is stronger, so there is not as much infrastructure there. It's quite close to the Haven of Sprouts. The robot is already there, waiting for you. Would these be enough for your needs? Tell me if there's anything else you want. I shall lead the way. Take four. A different approach. Take four. Embrace the change. On. The sky beckons. Watch out! 
Capture the spark! is unfolding. The lament is not an entirely unpredictable natural disaster. To confront one's enemy, one must first understand them. However, even now, we can only anticipate and warn of the lament's coming. Advanced predictions, including those of the etheric sea and the tacit fields, remain beyond our reach. Our battle against the lament cannot be won by a chosen few. Every soul must join. The lament is our shared enemy, tearing apart the land and ripping people from their homes, their lives. It will take everyone to build a world that can thrive amidst so much ruin. This is something only we, as human beings, can achieve. Another one? Is this how the Black Shores was founded? It was like looking at a mirror into the past. is where we observe tacit discords across the world to predict the lament. It handles data collection, storage, and transmission of anything related to these creatures. That's why this place... Watch out! More tacit discords incoming! Thank you. I'm the keeper of the TD Observatory. That was an impressive battle. I've heard about your skills from my colleagues in Jinjo.
Yes, but regardless of our origins, we're united by a common ideal here. While you were busy cleaning house, we took the opportunity to reconnect to the Tethys system at the Haven of Sprouts. Since data can materialize using the energy of the Tacitite, we can harness it to our advantage. Now we have input data near the anchor, enough to form a climbing platform. Let's drive those monsters back to where they belong. Repair personnel for the first two anchors are on their way. It's now or never. <laughs> strike is one. For us and shadows. of spirits. I can only go as far as you commanded. From the etheric sea to Sonoro. From time to space. Hey, Yang Yang, look! Somebody's over there! Wait, is she dead? Or just unconscious? Your story begins here. Go forth. I am forever by your side. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> all right. All the repairs are finally done. Thank you for your help. Without you leading the charge, we would have barely made it. Ah, uh, you are Hoda. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we finally found out her true identity. She wasn't lying when she said she was a bloom bear. She worked as a field medic, but more importantly, she died in the lament that destroyed the port city of Guishu a few hundred years ago. In short, she couldn't be alive. Hoda is but one of us. In the Tethy system, our registered name is Necrostar. We are forever trapped on the event horizon of the Black Hole, falling into an unending darkness. Beneath the lament's wheels, we are but dust, pitiful souls, cursed to suffer dreadful eternity, denied the solace of death. My mentor, the one I follow. Please, I beg you to end this Mobius loop, this endless cycle. once more. Welcome home. I wish to keep you from any harm. Forgive me for acting on my own accord. Hmm. Sad. Pardon me. Such emotions are not mine to show. Yes, it was I. Long ago, when you first brought the Black Shores into existence on this island, I assisted you in managing this place. You once wove the threads of this world together, but then you left, roving the boundaries between this realm and the next. You have lost far more than just your memories. Since your departure, the Tethys system has been the sole leader of the Black Shores. Most have never seen you, and that is all by your design. This place, built by your hands, holds all its resources at your disposal. You have more important matters to attend to than dealing with everyday trifles. That is why you entrusted the Tether system with the Black Shores governance. This time, only you have the ability to end all of this. Completely. This is also your first step towards the future. You mean... She was indeed a bloom bearer, but mysteries still surround her and the departed. The departed, whom you saw in the port city of Guishu, caused those abnormal frequencies. Only you can mend those errors. Rest assured, I shall always be by your side, to assist you as before. I am sorry, but I must keep this secret from you. Perhaps, as you restore the Tether system, you will uncover the reasons for severing ties with your past. Wandering Traveler, Please, tell me. 
Are you satisfied with your journey and stories in Jinjo? Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. The gate to the underground has been opened. Pass through it and you will reach the depths of the Black Shores. Your journey has only just begun. Beyond the Black Shores lies Solaris itself. Before you go, can I ask a favor? When all is settled, Will you share your stories from Jinjo with me?